Hi, this will just be a quick insertion about plotting with pandas, since pandas has some quite nice uh, functions that build up upon uh, matplotlib and allow you to quickly visualize your data frames. Okay, so the first function um, I'd like to show you is the hist function, and uh, you can just call it on the series here. So we take the h column, which is a series, and call hist, and we set density to true. And this will just um, yeah, display a histogram of our H um, column and uh, convert this to a density uh, histogram. So this means that the columns, uh, the bars all add up to, um, to one. So this is a, distribu a probability distribution. And um, yeah, this is um, the same parameters that were also used uh, in the matplotlib hist function. And this is also what pandas will internally do it will just use the hist function from matplotlib and um, yeah also pass some more arguments to that so that the plot will look the way it looks and uh, there are more functions um, yeah which you can use on pandas data frames in series which are um, usually called the same as in matplotlib so they stick uh, they, they stuck to the same naming uh, scheme here okay then um, yeah, the same plot could also be achieved with just using matplotlib. Um, here, for example, we could just call plt.hist and um, yeah, put um, you pass the the edge column um, to the function, but we would also have to drop the na values first and then um, convert this data frame into a numpy array by um, accessing the values attribute, and then we also have to set the density to true as we did above. And then to add this grid, we can call plt.grid, and this will uh, create the, the same plot that pandas did. But um, yeah, the panda syntax is uh, quite a bit more concise and easy to read, and offers even some more functionality that I haven't shown yet. Okay, um, then what you can also do is um, pass an access object to the syst function. So here we first create a figure and an access object um, from matplotlib, and then we call the hist function on our h column, and then we specify this x um, parameter, set it to our axis, and then we can also modify the plot afterwards. So we can, for example, set the x label of the plot, and um, yeah, this will set the x label to h here. And by the way, uh, the semicolon here on the end um, just leads to uh, Jupyter not printing out what x label returns. So if we remove this uh, the semicolon, then it will print the return value of x dot set label, so x label. Um, but if we add the semicolon here, then it will just not do that. Just a quick, uh, yeah, quick note. Um, all right. So we can also um, use different plots, uh, show different plots, uh, which for example access these value counts. So if we look at the h cores uh, column that we created earlier, um, yeah, we can call these value counts and it will give us the counts of uh, the different categories that we have. And then we can call dot plot on this. And dot plot is a general function in uh, in pandas that works on data frames and series, um, which can be used to draw all kinds of different plots. So we also have to we always have to specify the kind, uh, so what type of plot it should be. And this, uh, in this case, we want to have a pie plot. So if we do this, uh, we can just see that this creates a pie plot and um, it correctly labels the different slices. So we have a large slice uh, called grown up and we also have child and senior. So this is just what, just what we would expect um, from a pie plot of these value counts of our categories. Okay, so now we um, additionally add one category here and um, store the, the result uh, series in this course age series uh, variable. So we can execute this and have a look at this new series. Um, so far, nothing really changed. It just added this unknown category down here, but in the data, everything stayed the same so far. And you can also see that if we call add categories, um, we have to pass a list of categories. In this case, we pass only one element uh, called unknown and it will add it to the end of our categories that we had so far. So it will add unknown, which is now greater than senior. Okay, so yeah, now this ordering doesn't make too much sense anymore. 
since um, an unknown age is not like higher than a senior age, but um, for just plotting this, uh, this is not too important right now. Okay, so have, if we have a look at the categories, we can see that um, unknown is now in there. And um, what we'll do now is to actually have data, which uses the category unknown. We we'll just set, um, yeah, we'll call fill NA on our series and um, fill this with the value unknown. So now we use um, this unknown category as well. And you see um, before uh, the index 743 was NAN before, and now it is unknown. So now we use this unknown category as well. And then we can again use value counts, see that unknown has now some values. And um, if we do this pie chart again, then we can now see that we have this unknown slice. And now it's a little um, yeah, better to see how um, the, the ages are uh, distributed uh, across all of our data and not just across the data that actually has a value for the age. All right. Um, yeah, just another example for a different kind of plot that this plot function allows uh, bar h, so a horizontal bar plot, um, will create a horizontal bar plot. And um, yeah, on the y-axis you have the different bars and it automatically sets the x tick, uh, the y ticks here to our categories. And this is just very useful if you don't want to set up your whole figure and then set the ticks individually. Um, if you already have the data frame, you can just call plot and it will do all of that automatically. So it's a lot easier than using matplotlib and passing then the numpy data from your data frame. Okay, and then um, just to show you that this plot function also works on data frames since for now, uh, since up until now, we only called uh, this on series. Um, I will just take two columns from our Titanic data set, namely the age column and the fair column, and then call plot on this um, data set with two columns, set the kind to scatter. So this will create a scatter plot. And then we also have to specify what the X and the Y X should be. So it will take then the columns from our Titanic data set and um, yeah, use the columns that were specified here as X and Y. And this will create a scatter plot uh, with H on the X axis and the fair on the Y axis. All right. And um, yeah, there are lots of more functions um, or kinds of, pl of plots that are available in this plot function. And the documentation shows you that kind accepts uh, a string, which can take yeah, lots of different values. And there are lots of options that you can use here for your uh, plots in, in pandas. And you can also specify lots of uh, things that you already know from matplotlib, such as fig size, for example, um, the title of your plot, and um, yeah, lots of different things. It's very useful to use these pandas plot functions because it's just a lot quicker and read more readable to use uh, these functions instead of first uh, creating the figure object and setting everything up with matplotlib.